Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently the 7th, uh, Sunday the 7th of November. It's about 20 past 9. Um, the current book I'm reading is uh, The Tragedy of the Sith's Revenge by Ian Dersha, which is one of the William Shakespeare's Star Wars books. So I'm cracking on with that. I'm watching a bit of YouTube. I'm going to watch uh, Revenge of the Sith later as well, even though I only have it in French. And I think, I mean, I've almost finished that book. I'll finish it in a couple of hours. So, sorry, my record player. I left my record player on. Um, I've been listening to Johnny Cash because I got a bunch of Johnny Cash vinyl in the post uh, yesterday. I made a delicious curry earlier. And yeah, once I finish Tragedy of the Sith Revenge, I've got uh, Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz, which is book number four of the Wizard of Oz series by Frank L. Baum. So I'm um, gonna, gonna crack on with that with my buddy read with Joel Swagman. Dane reads. Hello internet people, it is currently five past nine on Wednesday the 10th of November. Um, my friend Sabrina was supposed to be coming around early but she's not been feeling too great so um, she stayed at home chilling and watching Golden Girls I believe. I've been watching The Addams Family, did a bit of music earlier. Um, the reason I'm watching Adam's Family actually is because I've got it downloaded and I badly need to free up space on my Mac. So I'm watching the episodes so I can delete them after I've watched them. Um, and then I'll probably get back to Netflix. So I watched um, Werewolves of the Third Reich, I think it was called earlier. I mean, it was, it was all right, but it, it was marketed as a horror film about werewolves. And it was actually a World War II film in which there are werewolves, but there are only two of them. Uh, we don't really see much of them and they don't come in until 25 minutes before the end. So yeah, I mean, it was an all right film, I guess. It was kind of dumb but in a good way. But uh, yeah, anyway, uh, I'm currently reading Peter James' The Secret of Cold Hill. I'm probably just over a third of the way through. It's like a haunted house story. It's the sequel to The House on Cold Hill. And uh, I remember enjoying The House on Cold Hill. And in fact, I think I have an ARC of it, um, and which is cool because Peter James is always an author that I've uh, enjoyed. Uh, and he knows, or at least he knows of the existence of Biggie because of Instagram. Um, and he's like a best selling author with like 20 million copies of his book sold or whatever. And yeah, I'm actually enjoying this more than the first Cold Hill book. And it's also fun because he's mostly known for his Roy Grace crime novels. So it's good to see him just tackling some horror, some haunted house stuff, you know. So I'm enjoying that. I think after that I'm going to read Portent by James Herbert. Because um, I was I was looking up there at my James Herbert books. And a few of them are like book Like uh, I've got Domain for example. Which is book three in The Rats. And I've read The Rats but I haven't read The Lair which is book two. So I need to read some other books before getting to those. But yeah. Cracking on with some work. Being productive. Almost finished my housework. I finished doing the last coat on the fences in the garden today. Um, so I just need to wait for one last fence panel to dry. And then tomorrow... I've just got to put it out in the garden and go over the tops of it basically just to make sure it's like all evenly coated. So uh, there is that. Um, let's drop some eBay parcels off today. I'm pretty tired as well. I've been sleeping weird hours. Seeing as I don't have anything particular planned for tomorrow, I might actually try and stay up all night and go to bed at like 6 p.m. tomorrow or something. I might try and do that and try and reset my sleeping pattern. And then on Friday, it's the uh, open mic night at Wickham Arts Centre. There's some live music on Saturday I wouldn't mind checking out. And then I think there's something on Sunday as well. So we will see. But as I say, mostly done all my houseworky bits now. I've got a few other bits and bobs I want to do this evening. Um, and then it kind of comes down to I've got some cooking I want to do. So I want to make some bread. And I want to make a uh, Biscoff cake. And I've also got a, a tie-dye set because I'm going to try and tie-dye um, the curtains in the living room. So we'll see how that goes. So that's pretty much my plan for this evening is crack on with that. I've almost done all, my, all of my computer stuff. I've got a couple of people to respond to on Interpals, which is like an online um, like pen pal website basically that I use. Um, so I've got two people to respond to that, to on that. I've got two book reviews to post. Um, and then that's my computer stuff done, which is very exciting. I got paid today, which is nice. Uh, I had the plumber over yesterday, but my granddad sent me some money to pay for that, which was really kind of him. Um, and also has helped me a lot because I was like at the bottom of my overdraft. So now I'm back 
halfway into my overdraft but my rent and stuff's all gone out as well so if I work hard over the next few months I should no longer be in my overdraft come December that's the goal but I do have my Christmas shopping to do as well so we'll see and I think that's all I've got for you today. Hello, it is um, quarter past five on Thursday the 11th of November. Um, so I didn't stay up all night, so we're gonna see how I sleep tonight because then tomorrow night it's the open mic night at the art center, which I don't know what I'm gonna play at yet. I kind of need to decide today really. Um, but yeah, all is going well. I'm still reading um, The Secret of Cold Hill. Yeah, I got it right by Peter James. Um, I'm about 80 pages from the end. I think I've predicted the twist. I think it's going to turn out that the main character's dead. Um, well, yeah, I mean, he has just seen his own death. So, you know, and there's all this stuff about, like, time slips and things like that. It's a bit Donnie Darko in a way. Um, but, yeah, I am still enjoying it. And then next up, I'm probably going to pick up Portent by James Herbert. I finished reading um, Asterix Legionnaire last night, actually. I forgot about that. I need to bring that through and sort that out. Um, and that was like a 3.5 out of 5. It was all right. Um, read a little bit more of the Alan Bennett book I've got going on and um, started like Etoile 1, which is, um, it's not really a book. It's like an accompanying guide that goes with this BBC Learn French series. Um, but it's got some cartoons in it. And I got like 10% of the way through in like two minutes because a lot of it is just shit that I'm not even going to read. I'm basically just going to read the cartoons because there's some stuff, there's like four pages so far that have been to do with a listening exercise that I don't have the CD for even though I think it was actually on tape. I think it's that old. But, and so am I. <laughs> That's what we used at school. I probably did actually use this thing at school. Um... But yeah, that's where I'm at with my reading. I've been, I've, I watched like 12 episodes of The Addams Family and I've finally officially made enough space on my Mac that, that everything can synchronise. I mean, I don't know how it's going to do now because I'm going to do some more filming, so that's going to be more stuff to copy over. Let's have a look. I got um, 7.91 gigabytes free. Um, and at the moment, I'm currently... What am I doing? I'm exporting some music. So... Um, yeah, I can delete the source files for that. I don't actually save a huge amount of space by rendering out the music because it's, I'm basically just losing the empty bits of video footage in between when I make songs, when I record songs. But um, I also record, uh, upload a video a day of me playing guitar to this Facebook group called Open Mic Slate. So I can strategically upload the longest videos, that are the largest file sizes, you know, to try and free a bit more space. But um, yeah, it's doing all right. I uh, rendered out... What did I do? My Wizard of Oz review, my uh, reading of Howl by Allen Ginsberg, and another review, which I can't remember what it was. Um, but yeah, so I, I am like slowly getting through this old backlog of footage, so that's good. Um, Housewise, I finished my fence outside in the garden today, so it was the last coat of paint yesterday, so just. I had to put the last fencing panel out and then just go over the tops. I've also painted the first of three mini bookcases that I've got, um, which I'm basically painting black and turning into planters, which I'll probably grow herbs in. So um, I painted the first one of those today, so I'm just gonna do one of those a day, um, you know, so that'll probably be done by the end of the weekend. Next Wednesday, my bins get emptied as well, so I might finally be able to get rid of all the backlog of stuff in the garden. We'll see. Um, I don't want to overfill my bins, that's the other thing. So I might just fill the small bin rather than the big bin. Because this time I filled a big bin and that, that only left a small bin for two weeks worth of rubbish. Which in hindsight was a bad idea. Um, but historically I have also had like four or five bin bags worth of rubbish to put in the bins. So I have at least sort of kept up with that. So I'm just getting rid of the backlog. I'm just fucking rambling now, you guys don't want to know this. Um, yeah, so I guess the next thing is um, the open mic at the Art Centre. Oh, I made some focaccia, some bread last night. Um, Charlie, Charlie Heathcote, how was my pronunciation? Focaccia! Is that how the Italians say it? It's probably not going to turn out to be Italian now. It sounds Italian. Uh, it is delicious. Rosemary and uh, red onion focaccia. So um, I've been having just that, like little sandwiches on that. Um, I'm probably going to make a tofu scramble at some point tonight and I also want to make a biscoff cake. I want to cut my hair. Mostly I'm just going to cut like at the back I have some dangly bits. So I kind of want it 
basically around the length it is here, maybe a bit off the ends, just get rid of the split ends, probably about this kind of length. And then I'm gonna go through, I've got some um, thinning scissors, so try and put some layers in it, especially like here, you can see there's just way too much hair there, you know? So I'm gonna try and do that. Oh, I tie dyed my curtains as well. Um, I can't be bothered to go and show you. They're currently drying on my bathroom floor. They're actually ready now for me to go and rinse them out. And then I think I put them through the washing machine as well. So um, I've got to go and rinse them out in the shower. Till It's a bit, a bit like um, when you dye your hair. So I've got to go rinse them out. And then um, once they, they're running clear, then I'm just going to put them through the washing machine on a low heat. Put them through a quick rinse and dry. And then they uh, go back up in my living room. So that's very exciting. So yeah, I've been quite productive with house stuff, and actually I'm productive with computery stuff as well. I've basically caught up with it all, which means now I can just focus on, um, you know, writing, basically. Writing and house stuff, but I've almost done the house stuff too. So that's very exciting. So on that note, I'm off to go and do some work. Uh, I'm going to record a little bit of music later, update my Peter James review, do some editing. Sounds good, sounds smashing. Yo, what up? It is uh, 20 past nine on Saturday the 13th of November. I was thinking about going to see a band, uh, a Johnny Cash tribute band called Splash the Cash this evening, but basically I can't be bothered. Um, I have seen them before anyway, they're very good, um, but they're playing at the Bellevue. Went to the Art Center open mic yesterday, which was fun. I hosted it, did four songs, and my friend Dave uh, filmed it and sent me the footage. So that's very exciting. Need to sneeze. Oh, okay, that's better. Um, that's because I did a COVID self-test earlier and you have to put something up your nose. Um, although the good news is I'm clean, I don't have COVID. I actually wanted to do it because I've been super tired. So I think in the last 48 hours, I've slept at least 24 of the 48. Um, so we'll see, I might not sleep tonight now. Um, but yeah, the open mic was good. I'm currently reading um, Portent by James Herbert. So it's like a, a thriller, I guess with bits of horror elements in it, but it's um, all to do with global warming as well. So that's kind of interesting, especially because I've been doing some stuff recently on COP29 or whatever it was called, COP28? I don't know, the global climate change conference thingy anyway. Um, and it's, yeah, it's a terrifying kind of glimpse into the future that we have in store for us and written back, you know, back in the day. So we've known this is coming for a while, you know, we just haven't done anything about it because we are stupid human beings. But yes, I am enjoying it. It's uh, probably on for a four out of five at the moment. Um, and then after that, I'm going to read, I think it's four plays or five plays by Anton Chekhov that I've got. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I haven't done any bedtime reading really because I've just been getting into bed and just conking out, you know. Um, cracking on with some work as well. I started this week with 17 different active clients and I'm now down to five, I think. So that's good. Um, so I'm just trying to crack on and catch up a bit with some of the clients that I have like more long-term deals with because they've, you know, fallen by the wayside a little bit this week. Um, and also the money would be nice too. So that's that. And I don't think I've got anything else to update you on. So I will, will love you and leave you. Yo, it is, um... 20 to 7 on Sunday the 14th of November. I've cut my hair, as you can see. Not done the most amazing job. I don't, I don't really care. It was just too long before, so now it's back at a more manageable length, you know? I'm currently watching the BBC adaptation of The Moonstone, which is I. Um, you know, it is, it is what it is. Um, I must say, I don't think like a lot of the characters aren't really how I imagine them, but that's just okay. I'm not too worried. Uh, I've got some filming to do later. I have an announcement video for the Serve Cold anthology, because I'm going to have a story in that. If you're watching this video, you probably know all about it anyway. We've got a floppy cat down on the floor. My friend Sabrina came over earlier and brought me soup. Well, she traded soup for... I'd made some uh, oven-dried tomatoes and some made some oven-dried tomato bread. So she bought some soup and so I had some, some of that soup earlier with some of my bread, so that was delicious. I'm still reading uh, Portent by James Herbert, which is I. Um, it's kind of slowed down a little bit towards the end, to be honest, so I'm not, I've not enjoyed the last 50 or so pages of it as much as I'd enjoyed the rest, but hey ho. So my plan for this evening, crack on watching some more Moonstone. Do a little bit of editing later on if I get some time, which I'm sure I will do. Do some work as well. I've just been like doing so much overtime. 
I'm kind of I'm doing art center stuff at the moment but I, I kind of I have no morale because I feel like everyone takes the piss and just nobody appreciates how much work I put in as a baseline and then they don't appreciate how long it takes to do some of the stuff they ask me to do as well like I don't know I'll just get a forwarded email like here here's an event for you to promote and it's like okay well that's a half day's work to get all the listings up set up all the ticketing sort out the post to get it online schedule all the social media posts and stuff and people will send like six of them in one day and then the next day they'll be like why haven't you posted about it yet and it's like well because I don't only work for you mate like I think that's the thing is they kind of think as though they act as though I only work for the art center whereas in actual fact this week the art center was one of 17 clients um, and it's also pays me a third as much as all of the other clients so I'm in no particular hurry to get to them as well you know so I don't know at the moment I'm not really enjoying working there and I, I don't know how long I will continue we will see then they're gonna have to talk me into staying basically if they want me to so yeah because this is the thing is I'm kind of sick of it gets basically I've had to work crazy hours all week and then I wanted to go and see some live music last night and I was tempted to go to um, the Bellevue Jam in town today to play some music as well but I basically couldn't because I have to sit here and catch up with Art Centre stuff so it's like I don't know it takes it it takes my work life from being five ten to twelve hour days to being seven 12 to 14 hour days and it's just not worth it for the money to be honest and it stops me from writing like I haven't worked on any of my novels all year because I've just been overtaken by art center stuff so yeah anyway on that delightful note I am hoping to get to some writing soon I need to work on I've got a backlog of reviews to do and a few other bits and bobs because I just haven't as I say I haven't had any writing time for like two weeks now um, but yeah, maybe next week I might finally get to work on some novel. We will see. In the meantime, I'm going to finish off reading Portent. And then I'm going to pick up um, the Chekhov plays that I've got. And uh, yeah, we'll see how we get on. Anyway, it's Sunday, isn't it? So as always, that seems like a good place to leave this week's reading blog. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.